Hi there, I'm Umesh Singh and welcome to Themyscira. It is a land of magic and wonder, worth cherishing in every way. Today we'll be continuing with my in-depth analysis of Wonder Woman. Note that this video series will freely discuss various aspects of the film, some of which could be considered spoilers. So if you don't want any spoilers, then go ahead and watch the film before continuing with this video. You have been warned. Today I'll be exploring some more mythology in the Wonder Woman film. Back in scene 2, Antiope debates with Hippolyta on Diana's need for training. Antiope says, a scorpion must sting, a wolf must hunt. On a metaphorical level, this speaks to Diana's natural inclinations. A, to be a fierce warrior, a scorpion that must sting. And B, to her desire to be part of the community, a wolf within the wolf pack. A wolf must hunt could also be a reference to lycanthropy the curse of the werewolf that compels a person in wolf form to feed on human flesh. Now in Wonder Woman comics, Diana's friend Barbara Ann Minerva is afflicted by an analogous curse that changes her into a were-cheater with an insatiable hunger for human flesh. Anyway, let's set aside this vague potential cheater reference. Instead, if we think back to the training sequence analysis, we identified a sheep in the background and noted how this ties to the constellation of Aries, the ram. Now wolves are known to hunt sheep, so if we consider Diana as the wolf, then the wolf must hunt could quite logically refer to Diana's inherent drive to hunt down Aries. But just as Aries is a constellation, so are Lupus the wolf and Scorpius the scorpion. So let's take a look at the night sky and consider some of the mythology and astronomy associated with these constellations. Lupus is a relatively modern grouping and therefore isn't tied to famous Greco-Roman mythology. In the past, the stars that are now considered as forming this constellation used to be grouped together with the Centaurus constellation, where they represented a sacrificed animal impaled by the centaur. In the year 1006, however, there was a supernova in this region of the sky. Following our modern naming conventions, this supernova is referred to as SN1006. It is considered the brightest stellar event in recorded history. It was noted by many astronomers across the world, from China, Japan, Europe and the Arab world, where it was described as considerably brighter than Venus. Some sources reported it was so bright that it could cast shadows and it was clearly visible during the day for a number of weeks. It is located in the area where the spear of the centaur impales the wolf. These days the supernova remnant is very faint in the visible spectrum, but its structure shows up quite clearly in radio waves and x-rays. Unlike Lupus, there are more famous mythological references to the constellation Scorpius. In Greek mythology, there are some stories of the huntsman Orion boasting that he would kill every animal on earth. As a response to such senseless killing, Gaia, the primal mother earth goddess, intervened by sending a giant scorpion to fight Orion. After an epic battle that drew the attention of Zeus himself, the scorpion ended up killing Orion. So impressed was Zeus by the scorpion that he raised it to the sky and immortalized it in the stars with the constellation Scorpius. Often referred to as the heart of the scorpion, the brightest star in the constellation is a red supergiant star called Antares. The name Antares means the rival to Ares, which is indeed a fitting description for Diana in the Wonder Woman film. In terms of the scorpion's anatomy, one of the defining features would be the stinger, represented in the constellation by the stars Shaula and Lesath. These are located at the rear end of the scorpion. When Diana enters the gala to confront Ludendorff, she has the god killer's sword sticking out of the back of the blue dress. After Diana dances with Ludendorff and to her satisfaction confirms that he is Ares, she reaches back over her shoulder. As she's about to draw the sword, the camera angle selected makes Diana's posture resemble the constellation Scorpius. Diana is unwavering and determined. A scorpion must sting. The constellations of Scorpius and Lupus are adjacent to each other and diametrically opposed to Aries the ram in the night sky, so they are on the opposite end of the night sky. So we could say that Diana's opposition to Aries is written in the stars, and that the constellations of the scorpion and the wolf represent two possible outcomes of their inevitable confrontation, a victorious scorpion or a fallen wolf. <laughs> <laughs> 